Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I trust you had a wonderful long week. And for those of you on the East Coast between Florida and North Carolina, be cautious of the storm. I know I'm inland in North Carolina. I don't expect to get much more than some winds and some power failures, but I know South Carolina has a mandatory evacuation along the coast and Jacksonville, Florida is potentially going to get smacked with a lot of wind and rain. So please be careful. Have your bug out pack ready. Water, food, battery packs, ammo, everything you need. Always have a, pan, a plan in place. Now, on to today's topic, which uh, I want to hit on here. And this is the recent video from RSI. And it is part of their Pillar Talk series. And this one got ratioed down pretty damn badly. And it's pretty discouraging if you're the guy developing this and making this video up to see that you have 1,200 thumbs down and 941 thumbs up from the community, which is supposed to be supporting you. Why is this? Well, I can tell you even without watching the entire video, which I did, is that when I go watch your things, what I want to see is, hey, where are we with server-side object container streaming? Where are we with Squadron 42 that is being delayed? When is another system going to come in? What's holding up development of this certain issue or that? That's the kind of thing I'm interested in knowing. I want to see new ships. I want to see new landing zones. I want to see new exciting things to keep me hyped up. Now, I don't blame them. There's not always new things to show all the time. But hey, where is server-side object cont container streaming? What is the holdup? They can tell us. Uh, and they've been kind of quiet on that side too. And it shows. The community is showing, hey, like, you know what? Tell us what's happening here. Uh, actually, the, the top comment from a guy named Marcus Van, not holding back at all. What a F did I just watch? Must be a joke. Upload the real one. And uh, look, a lot of people are agreeing with that. So, yeah, you know, I think CIG is kind of wavering and lost their way a bit with the content they're putting out there. And they, they know what we want to see. And they've been waffling with it. So, uh, what is this staggered development they're talking about in this particular video and why the community not like it? Now, first of all, let's look at this from their point of view. Uh, they sat down and said, all right, we're going to have a pillar talk. What is a good topic? And uh, we're going to have Aaron Roberts on this time. Uh, and they said, all right, let's talk about staggered development. Now, to them, internally, this is very important. They've been sitting thinking, how can we improve things? What can we do to make things better, flow faster? And this idea of staggered development was suggested. Everyone thought, yes, this is great. I'm excited. Let's do a video about this very topic. Now, their excitement and why they feel it is so important for them didn't really translate well in this video. And uh, I guess they didn't really give a good example as to why this was so important. Uh, which I can understand. I'll show you a post on the testsquadron.com forums in a second, uh, pretty much encapsulating why people are confused. Rather, didn't really get the message. What CIG is offering here is essentially a simple answer to a very complicated question. As in almost everything, be it politics or economics, there's very complicated issues which kind of boil down to, they try to boil down to simple answers. And uh, it doesn't always work out. It's, actually, it never works out when you try to give a simple answer to a complicated question. So I thought we'd take a look at uh, some things which people may have missed, which better explains why staggered development is good and uh, in all honesty, I mean, is this something you should care about? No, it's not going to make any difference to you and me viewing from the outside. The quarterly releases are still going to be coming. But to them internally, I'll explain why they went this way. Now, I am by no means an expert on Agile or anything that was with staggered development. But I do see a lot of people miss the point on this. And uh, San Zenon here on my forums, uh, thank you very much for this uh, comment here, San Zenon. Uh, made a great point. And his point is really, I see it repeated all over the place. Everyone's kind of saying the same thing. I just don't get it. That's fine. But let's dig into it a bit more. So here we go. He goes, it's commendable that CIG is trying something different to improve the development process. However, staggered development is not a magical incantation. It turns 30,000 man hours into 60,000 man hours, which may be the idea you're getting from reading the development fact. All right. Uh, so in the actual FAQ, talking about this topic, they're saying staggering means the teams like this means six month cycles for development instead of three, which means more time to ensure features are more complete with fewer bugs, all while still delivering quarterly patches. And the, I guess the confusion here comes from if you have six individuals that are taking 30,000 man hours to complete a task, how in the world 
if you divide that down, say, okay, now three of you work on this and three of you stagger it out, you still take the same amount of man hours. It's just divided into two. And so I don't believe CIG explained very well why staggering can make things better. But when it comes to managing a studio of this size now, I'm guessing 550 employees plus at this point, the smallest little tweaks can make a big difference later on, whether it's time-wise or saving in, uh, in financials. And uh, I guess the financial point of view is one they did not bring up and one I wanna to touch on now quickly. So let me pull out my um, trusty iPad here and uh, give you an example of why staggered development is important to them and what they missed out on explaining properly. So give me a full screen camera, here we go. And uh, let me jump in here. All right, let's take an easy to understand example. And I think we saw an example of the problem they're having with the recent release of the 890 Jump. Now they released the 890 Jump, everyone's happy. You saw my video about it. Check my uh, playlist over there, I put it up just the other day. And there were some pieces, not missing, there were, there were some parts missing. The uh, landing pad on the top, the lighting wasn't working properly that, the landing gear covers weren't uh, rendered in. There were some small issues which weren't in place yet. Why is that? How could they release this with pieces still missing? The thing is that the guy working on the task before they needed to get to that landing gear part was, he took time, uh, it took too long, he ran into an issue. And so the guy who needed to render the closing animation on the landing gear wasn't able to do his job until the guy before him finished something. So let me explain this in a bit simpler terms using a uh, pizza. Pizza, you run a pizza store, right? And you have uh, six employees. These round circles represent your employees. These are terrible circles. It's the best I can do, okay. And uh, this is how it's gonna work now, right? This guy right here, his job is to take eggs and flour and make the dough, all right? So he takes eggs and flour, mixes the dough, takes it out the mixer, gives it to this guy. This guy is gonna flatten it into a round shape and then he passes off to this guy. This guy is gonna put on the pizza sauce. Not too much, just a little bit, Italian style. Which passes off to this guy who's gonna put on some cheese. And he'll pass it to this guy who's gonna put on, let's make this a pepperoni pizza. He puts on pepperoni. And then he gives it to the last guy here who then puts it in the oven. It's taken 10 minutes to make one pepperoni pizza. All these guys are being paid hourly. Everyone's done their job, it's gone very smooth, right? Great, all right, now so let's backtrack a bit here. Take off these arrows. Yeah, don't mess up, go, go, go. All right, here is what the problem that CIG has been hitting on, which they failed to really explain. And so here we have the first guy. Now he is gonna take eggs and flour and make the dough. And it should take him one minute, but oops, he dropped it on the floor. Oh man, he starts from the beginning, so it's gonna take an extra five minutes. Those extra five minutes, all these guys down the chain now have to wait an extra five minutes to do their job. Everyone's getting paid, money's being wasted. Finally, he gets a second batch done, hands this guy, this guy puts on the sauce, no problem, hands to this guy. And this guy is putting on the cheese. Now, he ran out of cheese, he has to go back to the freezer in the back, get more cheese, it's taking an extra 30 seconds, no problem. All these guys have now wait, waited an extra five minutes, 30 seconds, and still getting paid, but not doing anything, just sitting on their butts. He passes off to the next guy, who's now going to, what was this guy? Pepperoni? Oh, hang on. <laughs> Flattens the dough, adds the sauce, adds the cheese. Ah, oh, man, that's a cheese guy. Okay, I'm not going to start from the beginning. This is the cheese guy. Cheese guy passes off to the pepperoni guy. Pepperoni guy's, ah, oh, crap, we're out of pepperoni. He has to go to the store to get some more. It takes an extra 10 minutes. This guy now, who puts the pizza in the oven, has had to wait for everyone to finish the task. And while he's waiting, he hasn't managed to do anything. He had to wait, and he's getting paid all the time. And so you can see how small delays at every point along the way here has resulted in inefficiency for these guys, where they have to sit and wait for the previous guys to finish their task so they can do theirs. So here's what they missed on with uh, the staggered development and how they should have explained it with pizza. Because what you have now, instead of six guys making one pizza, you have two teams of three guys each making pizza. So same story, except they do a bit more work now. This guy gets the dough, he makes it, and he flattens it, passes this guy who adds the sauce and adds the cheese and the pepperoni, gives the last guy to stick in the oven. 
So if there's a delay with this guy, only person who suffers is him because these guys are still making their pizza with no delays. If this guy is having a delay, no one else suffers. If this guy has a delay, only these two guys suffers. No one here suffers at all. The idea between staggering and what they fail to explain in that video is the quarter releases, while they are now staggered, won't make any difference to us, but will be better because the efficiency, no one should sit around and wait for the previous guy to do their task. So the 890 jump landing gear covers won't have to wait until this guy finally has the time to do his task. These guys working on their projects won't be impacted. So what they're saying is essentially coming down the pipe in three to six months, because like I don't know when the staggering started, it's only going to be smoother coming out. And the importance of releasing the smooth releases, as we all know, is because every single time that CIG comes out with a patch, and when there's the smallest little issue and the patch, you know it, I know it, we all see it. Every single damn publication out there, Kotaku, PC Gamer, IGN, whoever it is, has these stupid interns who sit around and they have to get paid, or I don't know if they get paid, these journalists to sit around and they go, I need to write an article that's going to bring in 50,000 views. What can I possibly write upon? Oh, CIG just released a patch. Let me go see what's broken in it. And they will go and go, aha, CIG, $250 million funding, $1,000 ship, broken landing gear. That'll be the article. And now I just wrote the headline for someone at Kotaku. You're welcome. <laughs> and they rely on that kind of negativity to bring in the clicks because it works. And CIG hates it when they wake up in the morning and see they've spent so much time and money to develop something only to have some journalists and some uh, establishment rip them apart because the lighting was wrong. And this is the kind of thing they hope to avoid by staggering development, allowing the devs more time not to be uh, bogged down by issues by the previous guys. Teams can work staggered and hopefully put out a better product. So this is pretty much what they failed to tell us, well, they try to tell us, but I guess it's not very clear unless you give uh, a good pizza analogy. And uh, with that, I think we'll wrap us up. If you know more about Agile or staggered development and you want to post below to educate me, I'm more than happy to learn more on the topic, feel free to post below. If you enjoy this content, give me a thumbs up as always. Subscribe and I will see you in the next one.